This is a series of short videos for the statics review designed to sort of take everything that we've done all semester long and chunk it into a pot and stir it up and see what comes out again on the other side. I want to start with a word about what learning is. This is one of my favorite pictures. This is a sock drawer and the cat might be happy but you're not going to be able to find a pair of socks. Here's my cat. So what does this have to do with your learning? I would like to take your bits and pieces that you've learned from statics all semester and stop it resembling this sock drawer and start it resembling something like a mobile, whether you, where you have actual organization to the facts that you've learned and how they all go together again. One of the big differences between a novice and an expert who understands something is how they approach an information. I will start with, this is a statics problem. Well, is it a particle or is it a rigid body? Is it a structure? What is it? Now, what am I going to do with the free body diagrams? And everything I do is top down. In general, a novice will look at a problem and say, I need to find an example problem that looks just like it. And instead of doing that, what you need to be moving toward is the expert understanding of the material and statics, because you're going to move on. And next semester, this is just going to be one bit of a prerequisite from another class. So what I want to do right now is sort of give you a structural overview of this class. Everything that we did fits into this one main theory. Everything we do is an equilibrium. Equilibrium is the equals marks. Free body diagrams are the plus that lets us connect an object and the loads that act on it. That's what we studied in statics. So I will use these little boxes up here and this general idea to walk you through an overview of everything we did this semester. So to start with, what are we studying? That's got to be the hook that goes into the ceiling. Our mechanics, we break into excluding fluids, statics, dynamics, and solids. Where dynamics has things that are accelerating, solids has things that are deforming. We are doing stuff that is neither accelerating or deforming. Now, moments of inertia and to a lesser extent internal loads, these are things that come primarily in solids. You could certainly think about for forces from internal loads up here and that can go in either place. But this is what we've studied here. We've studied mechanics. Um, as a note, you're going to make sure you want to review significant digits, Newton's laws, precision, why are we doing three sig figs, how well do we know the it the bits of information, other prerequisites, law of cosines, law of sines, all of those things come before we even get to statics. But this is the, the hook into the ceiling. What do you know? What are you studying? We're doing statics. The objects that we looked at were particles, rigid bodies, and systems. The loads that we looked at were forces and moments. That's what we're going to take apart in these review videos. What is your object? When you ask yourself that question, then you've already set yourself on the path of identifying what it is you need to do with it. What are the loads that act on your object, reaction or otherwise? Again, you're on the path. If you ask the question, what have I got, and you can answer it, then you have set up the neuron pathways that lead you to what you're supposed to do with it at the end. Everything we have learned comes back to equilibrium. The sum of the forces equals zero, some of the moments equals zero. That's what we did. So what we're going to do in these videos is go through a high level. This is what we've done. We're not going to do it in the order that we learned it because I want to sort of pull it all to out and put it all back together again for you so that you can keep this organization in mind as you go through and study for the exam.